Okay guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you another way that you can paint your molding if you don't wanna use a brush. All right? All right, so I'm using some Ultra Cover Paint and Primer by Rust-Oleum. It's white, I'm using the handle. This is very important because with this handle, it helps you have more control over it. All right, now I'm just gonna lightly go up and down each one. You're gonna do this like three to four times so that you can get a cover that you want. This has been done two and a half times. So if you want it to be darker than that and you don't wanna see any of the grain, you need to do it again. If you like that, then you can stop there, okay? And if you look at this here, compared to that, you can see the difference with just one time. This is a brighter white as opposed to this. Again, all you're gonna do, is shake up your paint, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area and you're wearing a mask for chemicals. Let it dry in between and just very lightly. Make sure you're also getting the edges because you do not want to have paint on your edges or have no paint on your edges rather. And these things are very, very light. So it's best if you go at it at an angle when you're trying to do the edges, but not at like a direct angle, more of a 45. Okay, so basically that's what it's gonna look like. Um, we have this extra board and we put lots of nails in it for when we were doing the windows. If you use a stick pen, you can kind of stick them in the board that way um, they don't fall over on you like it did with me. But you can always just pick it up and paint it as long as you're working in the same area. Okay, so basically this is what it looks like when you've had it painted, and it's not bad. I mean, I haven't finished this room, but you know, it's not bad when you spray paint it. Now this room I brushed on, and I don't really see a difference except for the wood that I spray painted has a little bit more shine, but if you don't want the shine, then you don't get the gloss. You just get the semi-gloss or the matte, and either one of those will work. All right, so that's what we've got done so far up until today. Keep following Dollhouse Mantra Madness and tutorials on Facebook for more DIY, and also you can follow my Pinterest page under Laurie Holden Heisler. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Leave your comment and let me know if you have any thoughts or suggestions. I'd be glad to hear them. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.